You mean the beast came back to you last night? Can I ask you a question? When you were growing up, did your mom took you to any strange place? Think. Not like I remember. Just this man who always comes to our house. He always called me his wife. And nothing more. So, can you recall the face? Not really. This is so pathetic. Please, I need a glass of water. Good afternoon. Yes, what is it? But I came to inform you that I'll be going for a three days journey. Three days? What for? For prayer and fasting. So you want to leave this house for three days? Grace, you want to leave this house for three days, right? Uh, but I want to go for our program and Latin for three good days. No, why don't you stay the whole year? Huh? The other day you told me you were going for PT. The other time you are going for a program. Is it a program that will better your life? Is it not your mates that are out there hustling for themselves? All you do every day in this house is prayer, prayer, prayer. Yes, prayer is good. Prayer is good. But for how long will you continue to pray without work? Eh? Is it not your mates that are out there working for themselves, trying to make ends meet? And all you do in this house is prayer. But there's nothing bad in, in, pray, in prayers now. Hmm? They say prayer is, is, is a key to everything in life. Oh, the key to success. But have you forgotten that faith without work is dead? Listen, you better go out there and look for something doing for yourself. Is it because I provide your needs? Is it because I, 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 I feed you? I shelter you? And then you relax like, like everything is, is right. You can't be going for prayers every now and then without working. You're not getting younger anymore. Listen. For your information, this house has been put up for sale. Huh? Yes. So any moment from now, I am going to sell this house and leave this country for good. 
I don't know now, but I Brother, no. Thank you. You are going to go back to the village and help Mama. Since prayer is what you want to eat, eat prayer every day. Brother, back to Brother Mu. Brother, promise. No, what happened to me now, Brother? I don't want to go to. Hey, why would my brother do this kind of thing? How would she make the world like this? Ah, it's not a crime now for worshiping God. Worshiping the Lord is not a crime. I don't understand what my brother is doing. But now, please now, don't sell this out. I don't want to go back to the village. I don't want to go to the village. You don't mean it. So it has gotten to that. Yes, so. Just that I'm worried. Because their father do call. And each time he calls and asks of his daughter, I'll give him the impression that the daughter is fine. Abigail. Don't you think it's high time you told him the truth? What truth? About your daughter having nightmare. I think I know what to tell him the next time he calls. Okay then. So how is she? Yeah. Okay, well, I was heading to Amwe, so I decided to come and check up on you. You know, Naida used to visit someone. Uh, why would you say a thing like that? Don't worry. See, one of these days I'll come visit him. Okay, okay well, I'm on my way. Okay, everyone, put to the down. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> from dad lately? Mm, not really. Though auntie said he called last weekend. Really? And she never told me. Maybe she never wanted you to know about it. Why? What is wrong with you? Tell us why a grown up girl like you will be acting strange, yet you say you don't know what is wrong with you. Okay, let me ask. Are you an Omanje? Uh uh. Auntie Abigail, hmm? why would you call her such name? Madam, I did not call her any name. I only asked her a simple question that demands a simple answer. Why E S and N O? Simple. Let her tell us. Do you think I like this? Do you think I'm happy with all this that's happening to me? It was started ever since my mother died. I hate all this. I hate it. I hate my life. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I hate all this. Don't worry. Everybody. Yeah, you get better. I think you do. Okay. Okay.
<laughs> Please take it easy. You know, this gate is very, very costly. <laughs> Why are you rushing in like that? See, if I lie in, you just enter this place without uh, 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 my very good consent. By the way, why are you rushing in that, 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 that way? Don't you know me again? Uh, if I know you, uh, he, 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 is that giving you the, 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 the temerity to uh, rush into this uh, 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 vicinity that uh, I, I govern, that I'm the chief security of? Don't you know me? Peter. Uh -huh. Please, don't they call me Peter. Call me Chief Security Officer. Chief Security Officer. Very important. You did here? Is it because I'm reckless? Eh? Just very soon. Very little soon. <laughs> the president will call me to come and rank me. <laughs> to prevent senior and the scrutinizing officer. <laughs> that time you know the kind of person I am. By that time, I will not allow you to encroach in this compound without resident consent. Abi, is it consent or be consent? Hey, my dear, I don't mind. <laughs> See, let me tell you. Eh? In a very serious note, if you come, you address me very well because I don't relate nonsense. So, on my waiting eh, 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 ranking, I don't relate nonsense. Do you hear me? By the way, who are you here to see? Abigail, she called me on phone that the house is on fire. Which house? But I'm not seeing any smoke now. The house is to be on the fire. Eh? They, they should be the one to call me, not you. Because it's my responsibility to ensure that this house is very secured. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. I'm talking, you are going. <laughs> oh, you are even shaking this thing. Oh, behind me, I'll be in front of me. It's a opportunity. Go and come back. Today, I will surely make sure that I sit with nice. Hey, hey, please, you big big please. If you come back, make sure that I, I, I suck one side. Big up. That's very threatening. <laughs> that I did some washing yesterday. By now, we'll be on our night way. We'll be wearing our night way by now. It's not funny. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Abby, what was that you are telling me before? Fisher, my dear, <laughs> this house is on fire. Fire is burning everywhere. Fire? Mm. I don't understand. What happened? Do you believe that Lucy was chasing Desi and I with a knife? Trying to kill us, oh? God forbid. That could not be true. Why would she do such? Maybe it's the beast in her that is making her to do all those things. Because my sister, I know, can't even hurt him fly. Have you called your father? My dear, my phone is inside the room. If not for the grace of God that I did some washing yesterday, we just managed to change our dress. By now, we could have been dead. And moreover, I don't have air time to, to make any international call. I don't want anything to happen to my sister. Mm. I don't want anything to happen to your sister. Okay, we'll be very soon. That's what will happen to her, okay? She will be fine. Now, where is she? I have no idea. And I don't want to know. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. They are fine, sir. Yes, sir. Bye for now, sir.
girls. Guess what? What? Your father said this weekend I should do shopping for you too. Yay! And when is my daddy coming back? It seems as if your sister is not happy. Lucy, why are you not happy with what I just said? Did I just hear you say happy? Like, why should I be happy? Could you please tell me why I should be happy? You know, I'm actually beginning to get to this life. There is nothing in this life that interests me anymore. Okay, please can just, just go for the shopping. I'm not interested. Okay, and please don't involve me in it because I'm not going. Interesting. Do you want to die? Death will have actually been better than this. My dear. You see, this weekend, the two of you will dress up. I must go out for that shopping this weekend. And I said I am not interested. So don't involve me in it. I am not going. You have no choice. to assemble in the church um, premises, all the youth, because of our um, youth um, day that is coming forth. Uh, and they will close very late, and I have to join the activities of today being Thursday. But I will, we'll just finish the church activities, and the traffic again helped me on the way. So please, I'm very sorry for returning by this time. Let me quickly go and make your food. Are you done with your sermon? Grace, I said, are you done with your sermon? You left this house since morning and you are walking in majestically telling me you are coming from the church by this time. It's just 8 o'clock. You call 8 o'clock just. No, you call 8 p.m. just. I left for work since morning and I came back to this house hoping to see my food. To meet my food on the table. And now you're walking in to tell me you're coming from the church. It's alright. You'll go back to that church you're coming from. But I'm coming from the church and today is not a vigil. Today is not vigil. You have to go back and start one for yourself. As a matter of fact, the angels will come and join you. Now get back. Get but out. I know now. I said get out. But today is not vigil now and I cannot go to church and stay there alone. Grace, don't push me to the wall. But I know now. Please, I'm very sorry. I'll, I'll quickly rush your food. I'll Grace. quickly make it fast. Now get out. Okay, I'm I said get out! Come on, get out! Come back together! Get out of this house! Rubbish! What's all this? Listen, I am going to tell Mama everything you have been doing in this house. Let me see your two left legs in this house.
I'm a good evening. I hope you received the money I sent to you last week. Okay. Uh, Mama, please. There is something I want to discuss with you. It's about grace. Grace has turned to something else. She has really changed. My grace will not allow me to drink water and drop the cup. Every now and then, from one church program to another, she hardly come back to this house. Mama, I am going to send her back to the village. No, it has got into that. I will do that. I will send her back to the village. I can't have my only sister in this house feeding her, clothing her, providing all her needs. Mama, do you know that she doesn't prepare food for me anymore? Mama, anytime you see her in the village, just accept her like that. Because I can't keep her in this house anymore. Mama, please talk to her. Please talk to her. She's your daughter. It's all right, Mama. I've heard you. No problem, no problem. I've heard you. <sighs> it's alright, Mama. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you some other time. Okay. Yeah, bye. Grace! Grace! Supposed to be in best position to tell you who they in and who know they in. I trust you now. <laughs> hey, what about uh, Auntie Abigail? Abigail? Is she inside? Uh, no, that one go market. You won't go buy food stuff. Okay, okay, okay. She yes. went to the market. Yes, yes. Okay, that's fine. Chai, fine. Pizza, pizza. Chai. Pizza, pizza. pizza.
my god you're looking good <laughs> oh my god you're shining this is not the way you are when you left home thank you well thank god you've graduated very soon now you'll be going for your service yes so and after that i'll get a job <laughs> a job in this nigeria of course in this country have you forgotten that you're in a country where the rich get richer, the poor get poorer? You better wake up from this dream. It's true. But this country is not helping the youth at all. How can someone graduate from university yet no job? Ha. If you ask me, now who I go ask? <laughs> <sighs> Where is Lucy? She might be in her room resting. Okay. Let me check up on her. I'm freshening up. Hope you can press one thing. in this house. Stop crying. Stop crying, okay? Don't worry, I'll tell Aunt Abigail to get drugs. So only if she wants me to start avoiding her. No, you can't avoid her. She's your sister. Okay? Stop crying. Stop crying, please. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Stop crying. Stop crying, okay? 
okay? Okay. My dear, that is it. Despite all that has happened, what their father said is I should take them for shopping, that uh, he will send me money to take care of their bills. Shopping? You think Lucy will accept? <laughs> As if you were here when I made the call. She said no, I should not involve her. Oh, this is serious, so. Mm, I suggest you should take her to a prayer ministry. Did I hear you well? Prayer ministry? How? Where? With who? Only me. <laughs> My dear, he's a no-no. So, you want Lucy to kill me on our way? Now I see. I thought we were friends. Hey. Uh -uh. I still love my life. Though I'm worried, but I love my life. Abigail, you know she needs deliverance. You have to take her.
You say so. I'll think about it. But I'm not assuring you that I'll take her. I will only think. I said I will think about it. Let me get you something. Okay. Like you're busy. Yeah, I want to make food. I said, let me tidy up this place before. Ah, oh, please don't. Well, I'm very hungry. Alright. Oh, I tell big girl. I really want to talk to you about my sister Lucy. Is everything alright? I don't understand what is going on. She's acting strange. My dear good. This is the same problem we've been facing in this house. Every day from one problem to the other. Mama, I'm so confused in such a way I don't know what else to do. Have you talked to my father about this? Yeah, I spoke to your father the other day. But he didn't give me any good reply. And he only asked me to take her to the hospital. Which I did, but all to no avail. Nothing is working out. Auntie Abigail, this is not a medical issue. I think this is spiritual. Let's take her for deliverance. I think you are right. Maybe tomorrow. We'll take her there. Okay, Auntie. Alright, go back to your room. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. Take care. 
Sister Grace, Sister Grace, I'm tired. My sister is acting strange. You'll be talking to her now. She'll just flee up as if she's possessed. Like the other day, we were eating at the dining table. Before we knew it, she started scattering all the plates. And she broke some of them. The other day, she nearly strangled me to death. She said, her room, Sister Grace, we really need your help. Please. Oh. <sighs> My dear sister, I'm very sorry that your family is facing this satanic influence. I think your sister needs deliverance. Yes, she needs to be delivered. How are we going to do it? Anyway, I'll go and inform my pastor and the rest of the prayer team. And you make sure you invite her to the church where the whole thing will take place. So she will be delivered and that satanic power will be destroyed. Amen. Amen. I don't want my sister to die. No, never. Uh, don't say that again. Don't say it again. Your sister will never die. Amen. As long as God liveth in heaven, we all shall live. And we will not die. She will live to testify the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. We just have faith. Hmm? Okay, Sister Grace. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please trust in the Lord. I pray everything will get fine soon. Exactly. I will be fine. Hmm? Yeah. Please, I'll be on my way now. Because this evening, I'll be attending um, Fiji. Okay. Yes. Let me go now, so I'll meet up. Okay. Bye. Take care. I need to. I need to. Bye. Bye. Bye.
For this arena, I've been on the chief security. When this one go wrong, who na tell me? I nearly escaped death today. Did they be fighting? Not be. This is small, madam. Lucy. Lucy. What thing happened? Hey, hey, thank God, your friend uh, Trisha. Mm. He did forget. I can't de scrutinize him. My ask him where, where, as in the entire, the entire. Where if there's anything? If you see, even to the temerity. Where the gate take knife, don't like this to show say if anybody where you see. Mm -hmm. For belly, oh boy, I did get it. The other didn't tell me, say, yeah, they catch fire. I did say, I lie. <laughs> Today, and I confirm them. Okay, my dear, this is what we have been seeing in this house. Every day, that same Lucy hey. will be pursuing us with knife, trying to kill us. So, today is your turn. Holy God, fire. She done the mad. This fine girl. My dear. Awara. I beg, I know experiencing this thing again. Please, if this thing continue this way. <laughs> How much did they pay me when I will come die for no just cause? Eh? How much did they, they even pay me, self? Eh? I go resign, no. I go resign. I go resign. Now sound of notes and the warning. I'm tired. Me, if I see a way to run and leave this house, I will run. I'll, in short, I will not run. I will flee. I will flee. I'm going to get in again on house help. I am one share. Bad name, Biko. Eh? I can't die for anybody. <laughs> Thank you. Likewise, me. You are yeah, very let bad. Me, <laughs> let me tell you the gospel truth. You better go back to your duty post. Let me go back to the house before Lucy will come. Why is everybody running away from me? And why is he running? What is even going on in this house? Is it not better we take her to the hospital? Are you sure if, if her problem is a medical problem? Because yeah. the way she behaves is not a medical issue. Uh, maybe let's try that first. Okay. In that case, I will need to speak with your father first. There's no need for that. Let's do it on our own first. Let's just get dressed. Good day, sir. 
Yes, sir. I've been trying to reach you, but your line has been busy. Yes, sir. So I called because of uh, Lucy's condition. I would like to take her to the hospital so that they will they will check they will check her mental issue you know, to know what if she's having mental problem because the way she's acting all this while is so strange because the other night she almost stabbed uh, Tessy and I and she always cry complains of everything that she's tired of life she wants to die so I don't just know let me just take her there to know the exact problem yes sir Okay, sir. Yes, sir. We are going there right away. Bye, sir. say a very big thank you to each and every one of you for being there for me. Reference you want to know now. Um, especially you and Abigail. It hasn't been easy. Quite alright. It's not everybody that will do what we've done for this family. I want to say a very big thank you. And um to my siblings. Also, I want to use this opportunity.
need to say thank you to you guys. And also for you to accept my apology. I'm really sorry in that any way I've um, hurt you or done anything. I am really sorry. Right, thank God everything is over now. I thank God for everything. Especially me, I'm excited. At least you are back to your normal self now. You are fine and okay now. And as for your father, I'll call him on the phone and tell him everything that has happened. So, girls, I'm not happy. Sure, we are. At least we'll have peace of mind. No more chasing us around with knife trying to kill us or anything all is now in the past thank god for new her ah. thank you everybody thank god you're okay now i'm very happy i am okay it's fine <laughs> Yeah, Tricia, lest I forget, I want to thank you for your support, your advice, your contribution to this family. I want to say a big thank you. It's okay. What are friends for? Though we ended up taking her for a deliverance. But she's fine now. Oh, thank God she's fine now. At least there will be peace in this house. <sighs> My dear, if not for you. Oh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You've done well. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll be on my way now. It's all right. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.